I graduated in 1937. Well, I stayed in town for one year, and then uh, my dad t told me to drive the car, and so I drove the car then. My class was in uh, about fi 50, uh, about that, but uh, these classes were, oh, like 10 or 12, something like that. I will remember <laughs> the time the kids that pulled the trick on me, all the kids that was in my class, that was in my uh, school, was uh, in, my in my class. And they had locked the doors and the, 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 when we were going out. And uh, so I grabbed out of that door. And <laughs> that, that was the. No, no. She didn't know Fred Seaman. No, I didn't know hardly anything. I didn't know anything about him. It was mostly farm kids that uh -huh. went there. I, and farm kids from all over. I mean, like yeah. from Tecumseh, from all over. And I think that was interesting because now it's just people in that area. Yeah. yeah if you know anything more, you want to talk about yeah. that. documentary is the 51 flood. Oh. I know she wasn't in school then, no. but if she had anything to talk oh, about yeah. that, she could too. I will tell, tell about the 51 flood. Do you know what year they moved to the village? Yeah. Well, do you know if she was at the high mm -hmm. school when, about, she, go ahead. when she moved, when they moved buildings, was she there? Like no, when, no. Okay. Now, are you talking about the 51 flood at the school or just in general? Just in general. At the Fairhaven flood. Oh, fifty-one flood. I was already very married. I met. Oh, I was already born. <laughs> and uh, we moved moved out the house uh, out to my parents' house, and. Uh, it was this flooded, flooded, but uh, I think about the uh, high the high school. I was in high school. It was in a high high school, but. Uh, uh, the uh, school was uh, Trister, uh, Twi the oh, Trister, the Trister, yeah. Okay. Um, it's just like the machine means stories for Eric tells you, because like we just love stories and seeing and she remember like her stories about the flood. About the flood. Like, her, like how she told us about the kids walking her in, like stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. At the time the flood was rising, my um, we went out to my grandparents' house because we knew the flood was rising, and so we were just sitting there talking to my grandparents, and uh, all of a sudden this great big moving truck <coughs> drove into my grandparents' house, which was or into their driveway, and uh, they opened up the back doors, and all of our furniture was in it from our house in town, and we just 
what happened? My dad, the water was rising so quickly that my dad got a stand with the big truck, and we didn't even know that they were loading us up. But I heard all the furniture was at my grandparents' house. You know, kind of kind of surprised because yeah. we thought we were going back home again. Yeah. But the water went really so quickly. That's one of the stories that I remember because I was 10 years old at the time. So. Mm -hmm. about the 51 flood, but yes, we moved out there to my grandparents' house, another grandparents' house, and the, mo the mud was so deep that, uh, if you've ever seen five buckle overshoes, the, the buckle, the, the boots, uh -huh. rubber boots, oh, yeah. had five buckles up. Okay. The mud went into those five buckles. Wow. And the trucks they would go up pretty high. And uh, the other thing that always <coughs> amazed me as a 10-year-old was my grandmother's china. They didn't evacuate, and it wasn't broken. The water was very gentle on that, unless it banged into something else. It just floated back down again, and her china wasn't even broken, but of course muddy and yeah. that sort of thing. But water can be gentle if it doesn't bang into something else. Yeah. Was your house ruined? Oh, well, it was had to be renovated. Wasn't, uh, had, didn't have to be demolished. Was it like, was insurance back then like it is now? Like, did you get any? I know it's <coughs> insurance now if you were able to get insurance for it back then. Oh, yeah, I think it was a certain amount. Yeah, I think so. So, do they ever like strip mold in there? Oh, like yeah, the lots yeah. of mold. I mean, they had to strip it right back down to the yeah. to bare bones. Yeah. yeah. It would have been a lot of mold. Asking about like a job if she had a job during mm -hmm. high school. Oh, not during high school. She oh. lived on a farm. Okay. Oh, one of the things that I thought was interesting was in their annual, um, they would say you know uh, something about each student, mm -hmm. and uh, her st uh, said her comment was, "Worry and I have never met," <laughs> because she was kind of an uh, uh, only child because her other siblings were much older than mm -hmm. she was. And her parents always gave her everything she ever <laughs> wanted. She was kind of spoiled. <coughs> so, Worry and I have never met. I always remember that. Uh, I was going to say, tell about the farm kids. Yeah, uh, talk about the parties and things like that, the dances, or do they have yeah. some of that kind of stuff? Yeah, we can have her talk about that too. Just anything she can talk about would be good. Oh, my, we made uh, mostly all the high school, high, what is it, yeah, how, how much, how much, uh, how much is uh, their names, because uh, possibly the name of it, uh, my, Greatest grandchildren. What's your last name? If you want to say it. Mine is Bassett and Leeds. Bassett. Yeah. What's yours? Mine's Nelson. And Leeds. Is that what you said? Leeds. No, I don't believe so. Yeah, we 
we had some parties. Uh, I, I don't recall very many of them. We didn't dance a bunch, uh, just a uh, prom, that was it. You had prom? What? <laughs> we just danced at the prom. We can't do that at prom. <laughs> Lily, did I, she asked me if she could say anything about prom in school, too. I'm like, Lily, did I add her? I did a lot of the dancing <laughs> to that. Did I go to the prom? Yeah. I went to uh, the Wilkie's. Uh, yes, that was it. I don't think we went to the high school. Did we? The prom was uh, the first day was uh, the first uh, year was first uh, uh, night night uh, night school, and the other one was at the high uh, high, high school. Uh, was, uh, to peak uh, high, uh, uh, I passed at fifty ninth in Quincy, or ninth in Quincy, and then the next was uh, the we had the the. the so. Uh, he didn't. He went to school uh, just off and on, <laughs> and uh, then uh, uh, he didn't go. To, he didn't go to high school. He went there a couple of years, but he went to Seaman too. Yeah, he, his brother went to Seaman, and his younger brother did, but he didn't go to the high school. He worked. He he did a lot of work, hay bale and stuff like that, because he he was a farmer. Yeah, piano <coughs> music, that was about it. Uh, uh, 
uh, she, uh, Irene Deman, she was a teacher. We had a uh, high school, uh, high sc uh, the home ec teacher. Uh, later on, she died, I think. Yes. <coughs> Did you? Carpools, yeah, a lot of carpools. I think I had nine, nine uh, eight, maybe six. All at one time. <laughs> but I had I I t took the lower road, and uh, the farm kids took uh, the the farming roads. But I had the lower road. You lived out on the lower Silver Lake. Okay. 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 Did um, how uh, well she she was there when Seth was anyway, right? Yeah. Do you think she had any more stories about him, or what? Could she tell us what type of guy he was? Well, Mr. Logan was there a long time. Uh, he lived up on the hill just on the north of school. And he had a daughter that's uh, Bertha Lou. And uh, he, 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 he married a daughter of uh, 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 Cause he he'd married a daughter from a school. <coughs> oh yeah, he was a, he was nice. Where did I work? <laughs> 